बार मेरे पास में एक प्रोग्राम आया कि एक अस्पताल में प्रेयर रूम बनाओ तो लड़ाई हो गई जब हमने बात करी कि अस्पताल में प्रेयर रूम बनाओ तो लड़ाई हो गई तो एक रूम बना दिया उसका नाम लिख दिया प्रेयर रूम तो उसमें हिंदू आया बोला मूर्ति लगाओ तो मुसलमान आया बोले यहाँ पे तो कुरान रखो सिख वाले आए बोले यहाँ पे आप यहाँ पर जो है गुरु ग्रंथ साहब रखो वहाँ पे जो है क्रिश्चियनिटी आए बोले कि ईसा मसीह की फोटो होनी चाहिए यहाँ पर तो एक फोटो तो होनी चाहिए कम से कम उसके साथ में तो अल्टीमेटली एवरीबडी एग्रीड टू वन मोर धर्म एंड दे सेट सब कुछ हटा दो लेट देर बी ओनली रूम वेयर देर इज साइलेंस एंड लेट एवरीबडी प्रे सो द नो बडी नोज कौन तू हिंदू है कौन मुसलमान है एंड दैट कॉन्सेप्ट इज द फेथ ऑफ भाई जहाँ पे इनके टेम्पल के अंदर में कुछ नहीं होता देर इज ओपन स्पेस देर इज ए कवर्ड स्पेस कम एंड सेट एंड प्रे इन साइलेंस वी हैव डॉक्टर मर्चेंट टॉक अबाउट इट लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन डियर फ्रेंड्स uh it's been always a pleasure to address the topics that dr agarwal chooses they are very meaningful and profound and affect our lives today there is indeed a very profound confusion in the society because on the one hand we see and understand religions the way they were presented with all the goodness nobility and the world embracing vision but at the same time the very communities who are supposed to profess the teachings of the founders of these great spiritual luminaries they are so different so fragmented so divided so at an individual level we may plod along in our lives but when you look at the world situation then you are very perplexed and you are confused that why belonging to so and so religion there should be so much conflict so much of unhappiness so much of disparity so much of uh, the divide between the rich and the poor and this permeates the entire society from the highest level to the lowest levels that is the reality of the age in which we are living an age of great turmoil despite acknowledging that this is a age of interdependence the age of reciprocity exchange so how do we go about for bahais we believe that humanity is one people and this planet is a common homeland and every man woman youth and child are today being challenged to rewrite our planet's history given the limitation of time i will just recite a prayer a prayer for healing and then touch on the four topics Uh, as briefly as possible this is the prayer for healing we offer at the bahai temple every day the hindi is tera naam hi mera arogya hai he mere ishwar tera smaran hi meri aushadi hai tera samipya hi meri aasha aur tera prem hi mera sahchar hai mujh par teri anukampa hi mera upchar hai और एहलोक तथा परलोक दोनों में मेरी आपत सहायक है वस्तुतः तू ही है सर्वप्रदाता सर्वज्ञ तथा सर्वप्रज्ञ अंग्रेजी में है दाई नेम इज माई हीलिंग ओ माई गॉड एंड रिमेम्बरेंस ऑफ दी इज माई रेमेडी नियरनेस टू दी इज माई होप एंड लव फॉर दी इज माई कंपेनियन thy mercy to me is my healing and my succor in both this world and in the world to come thou verily art the all bountiful the all knowing yes, the sir. all wise i'm really really impressed so if we take faith as a very first item then surely tremendous contribution if there is no faith in anything you do you are not going to succeed because you are not convinced there is no positive feeling in you you might be just doing it mechanically or out of material compulsion so faith is extremely vital and today the vitality of man's belief in the divine is dying out in every land and as a result we find every day we are afflicted with a new crisis ke baitta hu mere do hote hain mahine mein ek karta hu religions ke sath mein ek sari 35 ko bida ke jodta hu so we need to have faith and even those who say that we don't have faith actually 
they don't want to tell it publicly, but if they reflect a little bit in silence, they will realize that there is something they have faith in. Prayer, prayer Baha'i's writings clearly explain is conversation with the divine in prayer.